Hello everyone. When working on data science projects, you'll find yourself repeating certain tasks over and over again, especially in the data preparation phase. One of those tasks is converting categorical values in a data frame to numerical values. Today I will share with you a function I've written to speed up this process, and this is something I use on a regular basis and I hope you find helpful. So let's hop in. I'll begin by importing the two libraries we'll need, which are Pandas and PsychoPG2. Next, let's connect to the SQL database using PsychoPG. The connect argument requires the database, which mine is titled esports.val, the host, username, password for that account, and the port which is 5432 by default. In an upcoming step, we will create a data frame with the pandas read underscore SQL function. This function requires two arguments, which are your query as a string and the connection variable for your database connection. So before we do that, let's go ahead and write our SQL statement and store it as a variable titled SQL. For this exercise, I'm just going to select everything from the agents table. Now let's go ahead and create that data frame using the pd.read underscore SQL. And again, our arguments are the SQL string and the connection variable for our database. Now, if we go ahead and run this, we should have a data frame. Perfect. And we can also see that our SQL statement is stored as a string. But let's go ahead and check out this data frame so we know what we're working with. Okay, and I have our data frame pulled up here. Uh, again, this is just everything from our agents table in our Valorant themed database. We have an agent surrogate key. Uh, we'll end up dropping this. We have our only categorical column, which is the agent name. Uh, and then the rest are other numerical values such as pick rate. Uh, we have a kill death ratio column, uh, among others. So let's go ahead and, and start working with this data frame. Now again, I mentioned that we only have one categorical column, which is that agent name. Let's go ahead though for good measure and just check to see uh, what the data types are for each column in our data frame. So if we type in df.dtypes, we run this alone. We have an output here in our console, so we can see that uh, we have float 64 for most columns, a couple ints for integer, and then we have the one object, uh, which for pandas object is uh, like string or non-numeric, and we can see that that correlates with our agent column as we thought. The next step in our process is to kind of clean up our data frame and to drop the insignificant columns. I mentioned that we have one in this data frame and that's our database surrogate key. So we'll go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, the reason we do this is these unique IDs have no predictive uh, capabilities in machine learning models. So it's best to clean them out uh, so that our model is just looking at the truly predictive variables. Uh, so to, to do that, we'll go ahead and type DF. So we're, we're basically recreating our data frame here. And what we want to do is drop so df.drop and we want to drop our agent sk which was the title of that that column on axis equals to one so if we go ahead and run this we can review our data frame again and we should see that yes that agent sk column was dropped and we are ready to move on at this point, we've prepared our data frame and are ready to write our function. This function comprises of a couple parts. We'll go ahead and begin by defining our function, which will title CONV, uh, short for conversion, which will accept one argument, and that is our data frame. Now the first step is to create a new data frame for only the categorical variables. So we'll do this by uh, First, titling the new data frame, and that's uh, df underscore cat. We'll set that equals to data frame dot select. 
uh, D types. Uh, so we'll remember that from the earlier portion of this video. And we want to include uh, anything that is of the data type object. Second, we'll want to convert the categorical variables of the new data frame to numerical using pandas get dummies function. For this, let's pass our new data frame df underscore cat. So drop down here. Again, we're basically reassigning df underscore cat to pd dot get dummies, which is a built in pandas function. And we'll again pass in our df underscore cat. Now what this is doing is actually reassigning the uh, the categorical variables with the numerical ones. And the way Pandas does this is it pivots out horizontally uh, the columns. So for example, each of our agents will have a new column uh, for that agent. And for each entry in our data frame, uh, there will either be a zero or one. So the problem with uh, simply replacing your categorical variables with numerical uh, integers using something like uh, categories.codes, which is another built-in pandas function, your machine learning algorithms will try to weigh or infer some kind of importance based on that numerical value. Um, so the higher the value, it, it might try to weigh that result more heavily, and you'll find that you'll get less predictive models. Now at this point, we'll want to update the original data frame by concatenating the new data frame to the original. So let's go ahead and do that. This is a built-in pandas function, so we're going to use pd.concat, and this accepts our original data frame, as well as our data frame underscore cat for categories. And we'll do this along the axis equals one. The fourth step in this function is to drop the original categorical columns. We accomplish this by using the pandas df.select d types, and we'll include anything of the um, data type object. So let's go ahead and do that. df.drop select d types. Access equals one and place equals true. And finally, let's go ahead and end this function by returning the finalized data frame. And we can take this for a spin. We'll go ahead and create a new data frame titled DF new. We'll set that equal to our new function. We'll pass in that original data frame. And when we run this, we are expecting to see that that agent's column is dropped and instead each unique agent is a new column horizontally in our data frame, accepting only a zero or one integer. All right, so we have our DF new uh, data frame object. So let's go ahead and check that out. And perfect. So we see that that original uh, agent's categorical column is dropped uh, and instead it has been pivoted out horizontally here. So we have a new column for each unique agent uh, as well as a zero or one value below. So that ends this video. If you found this function or, or any of the information found in this video helpful, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I will go ahead and post the uh, function source code in the description of this video for your reference. Thank you.